Wind turbine blades are, are, are huge. Um, they're now in excess of 100 meters in length, and the turbines that are using them are further offshore, which means that the, the rope access technicians that currently are employed to service and maintain these blades are being put into riskier situations um, than they currently have been. I'm Chris Cheshlack, the founder and CEO of Blade Bug Limited, and we're developing a robotic system for inspection, maintenance, and repairs on offshore wind turbine blades. So the idea for Bladebug came about as I have a background in wind turbine blade design and I saw all the innovation that was going into designing uh, the next generation of wind turbine blades. I didn't see that the same innovation was being applied to maintain and inspect the blades once they're out in service. So we've developed a unique robotic device. It's a multi-legged walking device that uses um, vacuum cups to stick to the surfaces but also it can change its shape as it walks along the, the length of the blade. The whole point of the robot is to de-risk the situation for rope access technicians. They don't have to go out onto the blade. The robot is really easy to control. You just use a gaming controller from the top of the turbine. Uh, you can see everything that the robot sees. You have cameras and understanding of what the surface looks like. Technicians can actually use the robot to perform inspections, but they can also change this module out for doing early stage repairs as well. All of the Bladebug hardware and software has been designed in-house from the ground up, specifically for this unique challenge. The funding from the Industrial Strategy Challenge Fund has enabled us to build a strong partnership with the Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult. During the project, we've grown from a single person to a team of seven and developed the robot to a sufficient level to demonstrate on an offshore turbine. The UK have 34% of the global installed capacity for offshore wind and our targets are set to grow fourfold by 2030. So as a UK-based company, I think we're in a really good position to exploit our current leadership in the sector. We're looking to continually evolve and improve our tools and our sensors. And we're going to keep manufacturing in the UK and we'll establish regional hubs close to the offshore wind farms that will also support local economies. So the UK has a net zero target by 2050 and it's really exciting to think that Bladebug is going to play a part in achieving these goals.